वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग सम हॉट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ऑलजेब्रा लेटेस्ट डिस्कस फ्यू हॉट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ जोमेट्री इन एन इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल ए बी सी द साइड बी सी इज ट्राइसेक्टेड एट डी प्रूव दैट नाइन ए डी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू सेवन ए बी स्क्वेर फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू डू द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड दैट इज वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ए परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए ऑन बेस बी सी सो दैट परपेंडिकुलर इज ए वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस सम वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ट्राइंगल ए बी इज थर्टी सिक्सटी नाइंटी ट्राइंगल सो अप्लाइंग द थियरम ऑन थर्टी सिक्सटी नाइंटी ट्राइंगल वी गेट ए इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय टू ए बी एंड बीई इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ ए बी that is equal to 1 of bc because ab is equal to bc so de is equal to be minus bd after substituting these values we get 1/2 bc minus 1/3 bc which is nothing but equal to ab upon 6 in triangle ade using pythagoras theorem we get ad square is equal to a square plus d square after resubstituting the values we get root 3 by 2 ab bracket square Plus a b upon six bracket square, and after simplifying this, we get the result nine a d square is equal to seven a b square. Thus, we have proved our given things. Let us go for example two. Two circles with centers O and P intersect each other in points C and D. Called a b of circle with center O touches the circle with center P in point E. Prove that angle ADE plus angle BCE is equal to 180. For solving this particular problem, we have to do the construction. That is, draw segment CD and segment CB. Now, angle BEC is equal to angle EDC because angles in alternate segments. Angle EBC is an exterior angle, so angle EBC is equal to angle ADC. Now, angle ADE is equal to Angle BEC plus angle EBC. Finally, in triangle BCE, sum of three angles is 180. That is, angle BCE plus angle BEC plus angle EBC is equal to 180. Sum of these two angles is equal to angle ADE. So, substituting that value, we get angle BCE plus angle ADE is equal to 180. And thus, we have proved it. Let us discuss third example. This example is based on trigonometry. If sec theta minus tan theta is equal to p, obtain the values of tan theta, sec theta, and sine theta in terms of p. Now, sec theta minus tan theta is p. This is given. Squaring both the sides, we get sec theta minus tan theta bracket square is equal to p square. After expanding the bracket, we get sec square theta plus tan square theta is minus two sec theta into tan theta is equal to p square. After simplifying it, we get the value of tan theta is equal to one minus p square upon two p. Now sec theta minus tan theta is equal to p. Substituting value of tan theta, sec theta minus one minus p square upon two p is equal to p. After solving this, we get value of sec theta is equal to p square plus one upon two p. Now sine theta is equal to tan theta into cos theta. Substituting the values of sine, tan theta and cos theta, we get sine theta is equal to one minus p square upon one plus t square. Thus, we have got these values. Students, let us go for the fourth example. It is a word problem. A straight highway leads to the foot of the tower. A man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of thirty, which is approaching the foot of the tower with uniform speed. Six seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. So, for solving such type of a word problem, we have to draw the correct figure. The figure is shown over here. Now, let AB is equal to x, let BC is equal to y, and CD is equal to h. C be the foot of the perpendicular. In triangle DAC, tan DAC is equal to tan 30, which is nothing but equal to DC upon AC. So H is equal to x plus y upon root 3. In triangle DBC, tan DBC is equal to tan 60 is equal to DC upon BC. So H is equal to root 3 y. By solving these two sums, we get x plus y upon root 3 is equal to root 3 y. So value of x is equal to 2y. 
x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. So, the car took 3 seconds to reach the foot of the tower from point B. Students, we are discussing last example. This example is based on mensuration. Find the length of 13.2 kg of copper wire of diameter 4 millimeter if 1 cubic centimeter of copper wire weighs 8.4 gram. Now, volume of the copper wire weighing 13.2 kg is equal to 13.2 into 1000 divided by 8.4. Diameter of wire is 4 millimeter, so radius is 0.2 centimeter. Now, radius is converted from millimeter to centimeter. The volume of the wire is given by pi r square is substituting the values 22 upon 7 into 0.2 into 0.2 into h. Now, equating these two, we get 13.2 into 1000 upon 8.4 is equal to 22. 2 upon 7 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into h and after simplifying this we get value of h is equal to 12,500 centimeter dividing this by 1000 125 meter. So, length of the wire is 125 meter. Students, we have studied few examples in this article of Lok Sattva Yashashvi Bhava. In detail, you have to score good marks. So, Study the examples given in textbook and in the article of Lok Sattva Jashashri Baba in details.